What's up, guys? It is Anime Casuals. It is Lucky. Johnny. Michael. We make up Anime Casuals. And that was my computer just doing some weird shit. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, update. Cool. Anyway, uh, so today we're, uh, we're doing a, a, a double whammy today, uh, trying to catch up for, uh, for lost time after that, uh, that time skip that we were just talking about earlier. <laughs> um, so we got to make up for that lost time, you know. Show us, we're going to show you our, our true hockey right now. So... Um, so we're going to talk about our favorite, uh, straw, straw hat crew member. Um, so, you know, just, just, to kind of lay it out for anybody that's never watched One Piece. We're not, we're probably going to go into some spoilers and especially after there is a time skip and, um, with Johnny's character, he may mention a big, bigger spoiler in terms of, uh, it before the time skip. So, um, just to be wary of that, if you haven't seen... At least up to uh, Fishman Island or Dress Rosa, you might want to, uh, you know, not watch this. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, I might be spoiling. Uh, <laughs> I'm I, sure I, actually, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I forgot who you chose, but <laughs> <laughs> then I might still. Yeah, you might still. <laughs> and I, and I, I definitely will because my character does a real big change after the time skip. So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start off with Michael. What, what was your favorite? Okay, so my uh, favorite character in Luffy's pirate crew. Now, um. I was going to paraphrase this. Uh, we're thinking about this. Uh, we're talking about Luffy's pirate crew, not his extended grand empire. Yeah. yeah. So, see, that's the first thing. Yeah. If you haven't seen Dress of Rose. <laughs> yeah. uh, so okay. I'm just going to lay that out there for, for spoilers just so you're ready. You know, uh, My favorite character in Luffy's tight crew is Zoro, um, pirate hunter. Yeah. Um, I, I, he is. He, I started my, my like... Why I think he's so cool and why he's my favorite character, you know, why I would pick him over Luffy or, you know, some bigger cast members of the crew is, uh, it started off with the very first episode he's in. Okay. Where he's tied up. I hope you've seen the spoilers. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's tied up uh, Gosh, no. to, to, uh, to a pole and he's like going to get executed. Yeah. And he's just like chilling and like, he looks a little bit withered, worse for wear, like he's been beat the shit out of him you know mm. uh, but he's just he's just sitting there and just looking proud and he even he looks so good like when he's like fighting back against the navy doing this yeah this little arc like that certain two two like navy kids i think are like whoa like this this pirate is like amazing yeah like he's he's wor stoic. worthy yeah. yeah and luffy was like yeah this guy he's super wor like Wow, like he, he's making impressions on me right now. Yeah, and like, and <laughs> like I, think, <laughs> I think that's Zoro, like all the way through, like the uh, the arc. Um, I mean, the whole like series is like he's always shown kind of resilience all the way to uh, I'm not gonna say it every time. Mm. Um, all the way to uh, when he gets all that pain and exhaustion from Luffy uh, from mm. Kuma. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when he slices his beak in yeah. <laughs> like Ooh. all of those, like he's showing just, he is the first mate. Yeah, he is sure. the one who is definitely like right behind Luffy and always backing up. And I, <laughs> I love those moral moments that he shows where I think with Usopp, yeah. uh, when, when they kick out Usopp for a little bit, yeah. um, he's like, no, Usopp has to earn his way back. Yeah. And, like, he's following Luffy's lead while the rest of the crew is like, come on, like, Usopp wants to come back. He's, like, crying about it. He's like, no. Like, Zoro <laughs> understands what honor... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Zoro understands what honor means. Yeah. Um, and, like, that's, like, he's always... He, he even double-checks Luffy a couple of times during it. He's like, hey, yeah. if you're just going to accept him back, I'm leaving. Yeah. You know? Um, and there's, like, several moments where Zoro is just, like, keeping this crew so good. And yeah. I'm... Oh, strong back. Look at this beard. Um, and that's like one of the biggest reasons. And Time skip. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have like a full beard and everything. <laughs> that flash step over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and like that's that's like really why I really like Zoro. Plus, mm. he's got some silliness to him, which makes him great, is that he has <laughs> no sense of direction. Yeah. So like, like that's like the funniest thing. Like One Piece is really big about comedy, but like... Mm. Like, a glaring weakness from Zoro is that he just gets lost, like, so easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in every arc. Dude, one of my favorite so parts was when in Dressa Rosa, I think he had this, that one of those little, uh, I forget what they're called, the little, 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 little people. Yeah. Uh, and he, he puts he puts her down, he's like, 
He's like, I'm not doing this anymore. You know, because she's like, she's astounded how stupid he is in yeah. terms of like direction. And he's like, I'm done with you. He like runs off, and like all of a sudden, like a minute later, he get, ends up like right back at the place. And he, he's like, What? What are you doing here? Yeah. How is that even possible? <laughs> oh my God. Like, that's like, uh, times he does yeah, that. so great. And that's like, like, why I like him even more. Like, he's a great fighter. Uh, he's got astounding, like, a, a great code of ethics. Yeah. You know, you learn from being a samurai or, you know, from sword training. Yeah. Um, and he's a little bit silly because he's got, like, this <laughs> glaring defect to it. Yes, he does. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, two thumbs up. He's a, he's, he's a great guy. Nice. All right. So, uh, so mine kind of just takes the silliness factor, like, all the way and, like, just cranks it up even more. Uh, mine is Frankie. Um, the reason why I chose Frankie, I was thinking uh, about Brooke for a little bit, and then I started thinking about like how many times Frankie's just made me laugh in almost every scene he's in. Yeah. Like uh, one of my favorite scenes is when they're fighting, um, fighting uh, Ors or uh, Luffy's shadow gets put into Ors, mm. and they're trying to, uh, you know, Frankie's just there. He's like, "All right, we're about to do this formation thing," <laughs> and like, and like Usopp and Chopper are like. That formation and like and like uh, was it Zoro and Sanji like what he's like don't worry just pat me on your shoulders <laughs> he just like they just make this big like uh, big Voltron type thing and then Robin's uh, Robin's just there and Robin's another really good one I I was like her dark comedy how I like yeah. contrast with like Frankie he's just always weird yeah. Um, but yeah Frankie for me he's just always been um, he's always just been this big. Well, I, the first time I ever got introduced to him because we, when you, when I originally started watching One Piece, it was during, it was like right before Marine Form, mm. and so about Sea Body Archipelago, that kind of thing. So I only watched him, at which he, he had been introduced a little bit before that, um, you know, with uh, with Water <laughs> Seven and, and yeah. Bark. Mm. Uh But you know, for me, I started One Piece so late, so I didn't actually get to see a lot of these people like like Sanji. I remember little tidbits of stuff and Zoro. Um, but I really only remember anything in past Alabasta, which is quite a bit of, of One Piece. Yeah. Um, that you know, I'm saying like that, that's a lot of One Piece to not have. Yeah. And so, for, uh, Frankie, for me, because I, I I think that's the most recent arc that I watched was Water Seven. Mm -hmm. um, just watching him in that arc, you know, he's, I was just like, oh, I can see why this guy is called a pervert. Because you know, every other time, <laughs> you know, he's got, they call him pervert or something like that. But yeah, yeah, usually it was just because, you know, I just see him in like the, the panties and everything. I was just like, I was like, okay, is that why he's perfect? But I can see why, I can definitely see why now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, I really liked, um, I really liked his backstory and I thought he had a badass teacher, you know, Tom, what was it, Tom? Yeah, Tom. Tom. Yeah, oh my God, dude. That guy, I didn't, he built the, 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 the Oros Jackson. Yeah. 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 That's cool badass. Guy. Goldie bro. Rogers original cool ship. Yeah, yeah, Gold, Goldie Rogers original ship, and I was just like, man, this guy definitely has to be on your team. I actually, um, if I had watched that maybe without uh, knowing the rest of it, I may have thought that they were gonna go with Iceberg in the beginning of the the arc. You mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying like everything kind of pointed to him until. They got to the to Eddie's lobby and you know he was part of the fight and fought that zipper dude and I just I love I love the people Frankie fights too he fights the best people you know Mr Pink or whatever the heck his name is dude. oh my He's goodness a, gracious wearing a diaper yeah dude he fights the weirdest people he fights Baby Five and uh, I think Buffalo or yeah. something I think that's the other guy's name. And they're both weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're both weird. She goes off with like a crazy heel kick guy, and you know, it's just like what? <laughs> you know, what I'm saying this full turns into a helicopter thing. So yeah, I like Frankie just because he's very. And the other thing is, is the cyborg thing kind of gives him some chance to uh, to expand upon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas um, and he runs to, on cola. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, so do I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I've always liked him just because he. He's like a badass character, but at the same time, he has like a really big redeeming quality. It was just like, just like when you're talking about Zoro, he's, his, I mean, he's, he's way, way powerful, but he has this really weak, like, he has this really big, like weakness in terms of direction. Yeah. yeah. So you know, he wouldn't be able to go anywhere on his own in yeah. terms of like, he wouldn't find one piece. Yeah. He would, <laughs> he would not find one piece on his own. Where, where is it? I know. <laughs> you're telling me that way? All right. You know, yeah. So, yeah, so right I. there. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I, I choose Frankie. Um, yeah, that, just because I just love those comedic characters. I really, especially in a, in a in a place like One Piece where it is a really silly show. Uh, well, sometimes a lot of times it's very silly. Um, for somebody to stand out that much in terms of silliness, like that's what really brought me over to him. So yeah, that's why I chose Frankie. You know, 
you know, one more thing about Frankie is like he he built the Thousand Sunny. Yeah. I mean, and like he worked on it for two years over the or over the time skip because yeah. he got there first. Mm. Uh, and like, I really feel like he's one of those characters like he really made an impact on the crew. Oh like, yeah, definitely. Like a huge like everybody made some kind of impact on the crew, but like he's like dominant in that aspect because he. He fixed up the their boat and like the vessel that, that they used to go across the ocean. Yeah, yeah. that crazy like thing you know, that rotates through it. Like he just yeah. thought of all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he, made a, also, he made a new boat. I thought. Yeah, and yeah, also, the new boat. Like, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. He also made a submarine. Yeah, yeah. and also yeah. like so every, everybody, everybody's amazing. always like commenting on like what the hell kind of boat does that? You know, yeah. especially when it was a crew to burst. Yeah. Like uh, even uh, you know, uh, on soda. <laughs> even in more recent events, people are just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. what the hell's going on? So yeah, that's that's mainly why I chose no Frankie. Is, is his charisma, his uh, his sense uh. of humor, uh, being a cyborg doesn't doesn't hurt him. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so yeah. What do you what do you say, Johnny? Uh, okay. So my pick, I chose uh, Luffy. Um, uh, a lot of, there's, there's a lot of reasons why, uh, you know, to like Luffy. I'm probably not going to talk on all of them, but, uh, you know, the reasons I like him. Um, I kind of like his attitude towards his crew. Um, like you guys were talking about with uh, Usopp and yeah. you know, letting him in. He always got has that kind of thing where he deals with his crew in the way that he needs to. I don't know what you call that, but, you know, that's just mm-hmm. kind of awesome. The thing with uh, Nico Robin, yeah. um, oh, you know, helping Robin. Nami even way early on, all that stuff. Yeah. He's just... He's the he, good dude. Guy. He completed those loyalty missions, bro. So they're not gonna die on suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Mass Effect joke. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, I also like him just because he's got a unique uh, devil fruit power, which is you know rubber. Which I don't know when you think about it, it's like mm, what would that do? But yeah. clearly a lot, and that's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. And uh, you know, and you kind of helped me realize that you know beyond just having a, the, the devil fruit. He had to get really strong to be able to use that. I oh, yeah. never really considered that because yeah. originally I, I, I thought of it as a uh, kind of Mister Fantastic. He just extends, but that's not really how it goes. He's got to be able to, you know, control that. So that's also super cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I love those uh, little little uh, little arcs where they show him as a kid, and <laughs> like he's like he throws his punch out and just like bounces off a tree and hits him in the head, and like <laughs> yeah, like like when he ate the fruit, there really were no advantages to him. Like he just got worse. Yeah. yeah, and like, like people were like, "Why would you do that, kid?" I mean, then I mean, also the like he couldn't swim and he almost got eaten by that crocodile. Spoilers for like episode ten, um, yeah. and like a huge part of the pirate world, Shanks got his arm bit off because yeah. you know he rescued you know drowning Luffy. Yeah, uh, so I mean, he's just a wonderful guy, yeah. <laughs> and he's super. It's just really fun to see what he's gonna be able to do because it's weirdly he's so strong that it's almost. He's back. I mean, I'm not going to talk about, like, really current stuff, but now he's catching up to a lot of other people he has to face, and that's really cool to make to see, because yeah. clearly he's he's something special. Yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's got that Naruto complex. Yeah. You know, but, like, you, you got the naked of greatness in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be really fun to see what he does, and that's why I chose Luffy, because yeah. a lot of great stuff. Yeah, and actually I was watching a... Bitch and hat. I was watching a video from... Uh, from Bitch and hat. Yeah, I know, right? Straw hat! I, th- I think it's called Grand Line Review, a uh, YouTube channel you should probably check out. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, he, he they were talking about... Um, uh, Luffy's power and one of his one of the drawbacks of it is the fact that everything that whenever he extends out it has to come back to him yeah. so he had to build up muscles to actually like stop the you know stop that but he exactly. also creatively used that in like the jet bazooka or sorry the, the oh, yeah. gun gun bazooka like that's basically him using that and just throwing it at somebody else yeah. and I was like you know that's pretty good man and even inflating his bones what yeah. is that that's yeah. insane how do you bu- you I bit through your bone yeah. oh because yeah. it's just rubber you just bite uh, <laughs> okay yeah. uh, well uh, you know you mentioned that like Luffy's kind of like Naruto-esque mm. um, and I love that the way it works in One Piece is like Luffy's like yo my friends you don't you don't touch my friends yeah. like I will go to the ends of earth but his friends can also support him and like they, yeah. they constantly do that and it's like uh, cyclical where they're always like his love for his own crew and his love for just general, you know, general people, um, is how he keeps building on on all this. And people just look up to him because he's naturally likable. Because, you know, he just wants to see you know good happen mm-hmm. in the world, and not like you know, like a leader should. You know, he's not assuming a leader role. He's just setting setting by example. Everybody's yeah. like, wow, 
that guy, like, he's amazing. I want to be amazing, too. And, like, so he just, like, kind of yeah. drags people in his wake, and people just, like, come up behind him. And, like, I I, I love that. Like, yeah. yeah. That's well, why One Piece is so good cool. at that. Yeah, well, I mean, another thing about just One Piece to, to end this off is, uh, you know, the, the reason why the Straw Hat crew is so special to me is that you need all of them to yeah. do this. Whereas in Naruto... <laughs> You just need Naruto to go nine tails on every single person, and Sasuke to bring out stupid Susano, and for them to obliterate everything in the site. So not to say that we don't like Naruto. Yeah, I mean we like but Naruto. I love. Yeah, we, it we, is kind of like we'll just wait. Naruto will be here. But that, this yeah. is why okay. we're watching One but, Piece. You know, this is also this is what makes One Piece special in its yeah. own way. Is that you really do think about it, and you think about how each crewmate, um, you know, because after you know very very beginning of Naruto. I had a favorite character, which was Rock Lee, and then mm -hmm. never saw Rock Lee again after That's the Gara fight. I mean, you true. see him a little bit in some fillers every now and then. You see a little bit, um, you know, during the Kimamaru fight, and then after it's that, it's just like, way. yeah, and, you know, they don't really, I think they missed a lot of opportunities in terms of building up some of those characters. Mm. Whereas in the, in One Piece, this is a crew. They all yeah. make they all make up for it, which, downside, it can lead to some long episodes because, you know, you have, you have to a lot, go through a lot of battles. Everybody's but, gotta have their piece. <laughs> but, man, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's just real special to have an anime that just doesn't, um, it's not all focused on that one character. Yeah. And you also yeah. know that he relies heavily on all those crew members, you know, because yeah. they, they're, and they're all capable of doing what they need to do. And they're not afraid to have that, the, the leader figure get, just get thrown down and have the crew have to build them up because they're all together. And like, yeah, there, and I gotta yeah, say, trust. real quick, whenever One Piece does an arc on a character in the crew, it is extremely good and intense, like emotionally. It's like, satisfying. There's, you know, a couple, we're going through a Sanji one right now, and there was a previous one on Robin, and how she joined the crew, and I gotta say, both of these have been pretty, pretty, like, tugging yeah. on those heartstrings, mm -hmm. you know, like... I gotta say, the, these are some yeah. <laughs> Bring some great quotes and some great memes, yeah. but uh, all right, guys. So um, you know, this is this is as you can tell, One Piece is very special in our hearts, and uh, we'll we'll probably be doing some more uh, One Piece videos eventually. Yeah. But uh, we just wanted to be able to get some more content out there real quick. Uh, like I said, uh, we, we ended up doing that time skip, so, you know, we got to make up for lost time. But uh, Did you order some content? Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, keep it casual, and we'll see you in the next video.